Good morning, second graders. This is Mrs. Elkhorn. I kind of want to just get on this morning and give you a little morning message, something to think about for the rest of the day. Um, at the end, parents, I'll talk a little bit about what's going on with um, resources and learning the rest of the second grade curriculum this after, you know, during the rest of the time off. Um, so each morning we would do a little morning message that I would write to the to the children, um, kind of just to get them started to starting to think about the rest of the mor or the rest of the day. Um, so let's get that started, and I hope everyone's doing good. So I just had to flip that around. There's my little dog. He looks like a shaggy rug. We wanted to go get him a haircut, but everything was closed down. All right, well, today is April 1st, 2020. I can't believe that it's April um, already. Good morning, second graders. It is April 1st. Can you believe it? Um, I feel like the last time that we saw each other, it was just the beginning of March. And we had joked around that day about, hey, this could be the last day that we're here. And look, that's what happened. It was the last day that we're here. And it kind of makes me sad because as I go through the morning message, um, you're going to see that the next time I see you, unless I see you this, this, uh, this afternoon um, on the bus um, to deliver, sorry, I'm trying to fix something. Um, on the bus to be okay to to deliver lunches i um i won't see you again until you're actually third graders so that's kind of sad um hopefully you'll come down like my my old fourth graders did this year and visit me in the morning while you're getting breakfast which i know you all get breakfast so you better come down here and see me um all right back to the morning message sorry Um, so we have a lot going on in our world, including getting ready to be third graders. We have been trying to keep up with schoolwork and creating schoolwork for you. So my day is kind of challenging because I'm trying to create schoolwork for you guys to do, and the girls are trying to get their schoolwork done, so I'm trying to juggle two things at one time. Um, we have a lot of... Um, A lot of um, challenging times for us so but we get it done and it will be okay um, so back to the message here you go um, do, do, do. I hope that everything is going well and you all are healthy or being healthy or practicing healthy ways of life washing your hands and using hand sanitizer um, something to think about while you're going through um, the work starting next week or this week, whenever you begin to start it, um, is why would a bear have a hard time living in a desert? I just want you to think about that while you're going through your habitat videos um, or your, your activities that you're doing. That why would a bear have a hard time living in a desert? Or why would a frog have a hard time living in the tundra? And you should be able to explain why what would make it hard in those two habitats for a bear and a frog to survive remember everything is about survival and what can the habitat give those animals to make them survive um i'm going to try and do a morning message every day um and I'm also going to continue on this afternoon with my book reading. Um, the other night, I apologize, I had the book reading done. Um, but then when I went to put it on to YouTube, it kind of disappeared. So my intentions were to redo it over. Um, but then I just got really tired. Um, and yesterday was Emma's birthday. So we kind of just spent a lot of time as a family. Um, so parents, before I get off here, um, this is normally when we would go to the carpet and do some of our um, Hegarty phonics. Um, I don't have that right now, so we're not gonna do that today. Um, but I did wanna point out that anything that I'm putting on to Facebook right now is just kinda to give you a head start 
and to make sure that we can sign into Google Classroom or we can sign into Clever um, and access these resources before April 6th when that's when new curriculum or new learning is supposed to be taking place. Um, now, you can choose to do the work whenever, so if you can get into Google Classroom and you have no problem accessing the information, your, your child can start working on that whenever they want to. Um, my job is to just create this, this resource in many different places for you um, to kind of um, put that information out there so they're, they're at some point trying to learn that before they get to third grade. Because what we did is we went through all the areas of you know, what we had left to learn and we kind of tried to figure out what did they need to know as third graders. So anything that we're going through right now is something that they're going to need to know in third grade. So although we're, we're, we're saying, hey, we're not taking grades and we're not requiring this to be something um, that you have to work on, um, really for them to be in, you know, third graders next year, you know, it's, it's um, my suggestion, it's a suggestion from everyone to try and get through some of the materials that are put up there for you. And I will do everything that I can for you to make that an easier process. So say you're yeah. signing into Google Classroom and you don't, and you can't figure out how to do that, um, I can try and take you through that. I can either find you a resource that will help you with that or I can make a little video of myself getting into these um, websites for you. Um, really, once you're inside Google Classroom, it's pretty simple from there. You just you know, go to the topic that we're working on for the week and you kind of work through the materials. Um, and again, these are just suggestions. Um, however, I will be checking up with you once or twice a week to, make, to see what it is that um, you guys have been doing at home um, yes, to see yes. if you are um, looking at the materials or what you haven't done or what you haven't um, worked on yet. Just as, you know, a kind of guide to see what's going on. Um, again, it's not getting graded and it's not going, you know, on um, report cards, but, you know, it's just something that I need to keep track of. Um, so, again, this week... I, I've put that information out there for you. Um, I did add science to Clever and to um, Google Classroom. So if you're somebody who got into, you know, either Clever or Google Classroom, um, those um, science has been put on there for you to work on for. And again, that's something that, you, you know, you don't have to get into um, until we're suggesting next week. You know, that's when new material is going to start going out. So if you don't get into it till next week, that's absolutely fine. However, if you want to, you know, try and sign into Google Classroom or make sure you can get into Clever, um, that's great as well. And then, you know, we can iron out who can get into something and who can't get into something in between now and the time that we actually want to start giving out new material. Um, at some point this week, I will be adding in the reading portion of the um, resources and starting Monday next week, um, all of those resources also will be put into our classroom websites on Google. And not on Google, but on um, through the Stewartsville Elementary School page. So if you went to Christy Elkhorn's or Mrs. Elkhorn's um, webpage through Stewartsville Elementary School, on the drop down tab that you'd see up in the right corner, you will be able to access um, the classwork page and um, there will be a document on there which you can click on different links. The, the same links that you would find on Google Classroom or on Clever. Um, so just another place for you to be able to access this information. Um, so again, that will start next week and that document will be available on Monday. So if you're not somebody who's good with Google Classroom, which mm, I completely understand because it's quite confusing, or if you can't get into Clever, those other choices will be available to you um, on the school's website underneath my actual classwork page. Um, 
at this point I'm gonna say hey I'll see you later with the book reading um, if you have any questions throughout the day today or tomorrow which is what Thursday tomorrow's Thursday yes. um, or Friday about Google Classroom clever finding the document finding the the classwork page or um, just anything that's gonna help you at home with this process please 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 let me know and i will try and help you as much as i can um other than that i'll see you guys later and i hope you have a good day thinking about how come a bear can't live in the desert and how come a frog wouldn't survive in the tundra <laughs>